reseller clickbait podcast episode 41 what's going on ken ssk promo what's going on buddy jimmy how are you old school flips i'm doing all right uh, so I, I was i wanted to go right into something i've been thinking about okay and tell well, i want to tell people what this show's about and the best thing i could think of uh -huh. we're trash to cash podcast wannabes that's who we are that we want to <laughs> okay. be as successful as they are right of course we do yes and but so that's the goal is to be su as successful as the trash to cash podcast that's so if you're listening to for the first time that's who we are we're trash to cash <laughs> wannabes there you go speaking of successful and trash to cash yeah kevin commonwealth picker yep he he we got his full endorsement he thinks that we are a successful podcast we have is, Kevin Commonwealth Picker yeah. slash Flipper slash, slash yes. Garage Sale Nations. Yes, he's he's given us the stamp of approval. He he, he has said well, those words. He might well, I might have I might have embellished a little bit, Jimmy, uh, on that. He was talking the other day on Trash Cash Podcast that most podcasts, on the average, do not last more than ten episodes. So hey, we're on episode we're, 41. We're, we're at 41. Before. So we're, this is 41. So we're like 40 times the average oh boy, math. or 40, four times, four times, four times. Oh, <laughs> four, hey, and I said, I'm the one that's bad at math. We don't, we don't do math. No, speak. Yeah. Jimmy How doesn't do math. Kobe, if, I mean, would Bean be, if you were doing the math, he'd be, yeah. he'd be done. I was talking it. Jim to Jimmy the other day and he was talking about his dog Bean, and he's like, yeah, he's like four weeks old. Now he was born on, uh, November 26th. Now today's February, the February, the 20th, when you're listening to show. So does it make me bad at math? If I just don't know how to talk, right. If you I just don't, don't know I how to, to say months and I said, Oh, okay. And I was, I was trying to do the math and that's not my strong suit, but, but I was like, we didn't, well, yeah. even, like we didn't even have him when he was four weeks. Like that's, you don't get a puppy. <laughs> they still have to be with their mother at four weeks old. Yes. So yeah. Um, and I just didn't realize I said weeks, but you know, when you're dealing with puppies at first, it's weeks, then it's, then you start talking months. Yeah. So it's, it's like, like eh. it's like babies when they go, well, she's 36 months old. It's like yeah. <laughs> 36 months. It's like the kid's three years old. That what are you doing? Two months old. <laughs> so yeah. So Kevin thinks we're, we're, we're successful. Hey, so here's a fun fact. You th what makes you say that he thinks we're successful? Like I've, I watched well, trash to cash and I've not heard him say those he he didn't really say that out loud Wait, and maybe so that's that we've made it to 40 episodes what ken what ken heard was hey a successful podcast la you know or, or not successful but most podcasts don't last more than 10 episodes or right. that's kind of yep. the average the dog yep. heard <laughs> kevin commonwealth picker say hey the the reseller clickbait podcast man they're on it they're up to 40 some episodes and uh hey here's a fun fact too kevin commonwealth most people think that he is commonwealth picker because he lives in virginia which would i guess seem natural which doesn't work out for you know everybody say like paul philly flipper who lives yeah. in florida or dave nc picker who now lives in florida uh, I don't figure that, but actually Kevin got his name from uh Commonwealth Hudson. Commonwealth I mean, Hudson. he, he he's loves so the character mean. so much and he's like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to take that. And I don't want to be Commonwealth Kevin because that's kind of like, you know, nobody would, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that, that whole kind of rhyming, whatever <laughs> first, what Ed, they don't even rhyme Commonwealth. I don't know what you, you don't do math. You don't do rhymes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know weeks from months. I failed Mother Goose in uh, <laughs> elementary school, and so Doctor Seuss was not my. <laughs> yes, was. <laughs> That's funny, but uh, yeah. So yeah, so, but hey, we're doing we're doing good, Jimmy. Forty one episodes. Um, yeah, I, we're like you know, we'll be getting the senior discount at no time. We at just no time. keep putting them out, whether anybody listens to them or not. You well, know, okay, that might have just, something to do with success. You just well, yeah, we won't talk about you know the numbers hey, or anything. Kevin, like that. on the next trash to cash, 
talk about how many views or listen listens is it listens Listens. yes how many views or listens (laughs) a podcast (laughs) needs to be considered considered (laughs) successful (laughs) since we're just going based on the fact that we have 41 episodes or or 41 listens i think those coincide don't they we got 40 (laughs) 41 listens so thanks nancy uh for for that for listening hey uh, yeah. hey nancy thank you so much for listening to the podcast you're my favorite listener Le- <laughs> uh, nancy nancy is uh jill's mother jill is you know my girlfriend and, and nancy listens to the podcast every week and then she gives she gives jill a review of the of the podcast of what she thought which usually is which is usually a glowing review for me and then she you know and then like, you know not guy, so much that other guy and every week she's like who it now who is he who is that that does the show <laughs> it's like well they introduce him every week as he's the one that <laughs> did number two in the bunker a lot isn't he that's <laughs> he's right the one that dropped the dudes in the bunker <laughs> daily <laughs> right right before he left and didn't spray <laughs> didn't spray everything. so we should do it we should have a show oh there would be an entertaining show is have a nancy a nancy review of the show, show of the podcast get her on here that would be our our number well, one episode so. you're saying as long as we don't talk reselling yes right. she's like I like when they just talk back and forth and they joke. When they start talking about all of that stuff that they sell, that just, you yeah, know, what did you I s- start oh, to tune out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the case for most of our listeners. They don't want to hear it w- about our bad sales and our theories on re- on returns. They don't want to hear that stuff. They they do not because they're all resellers as well, and they get all of that, and they, yeah. they uh, know where we're at. Hey, what they want to hear about. Oh, go ahead. No. No, 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 no. You, you were mid. <laughs> what they want to hear about is as other resellers and meetups and stuff. And That's Jimmy, say. we got. I I feel we've been slighted. We've been overlooked. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know. Have you got your invite in the mail, email, text, Instagram message? So we kind of talked about this behind the scenes. The trash to cash meetup is coming up in Vegas in April. In April, oh, yes. Wait, wait. Is my math right? Yes. Yeah, two, two months away, basically. <laughs> From today, while we're recording, it's just about two yeah. weeks, also known as two months away. <laughs> and I, and we're not members of the Trash to Cash Discord. Yeah, we don't, we don't pony up those extra, you know, bucks to be in the so, Patreon, to be in the Discord. Sure we're not invited, right? Well, I think that's, that's what right. me and you came up with is we're not invited to the Las Vegas Trash to Cash meetup now. I had a thought about this. I'm comparing yes. them. It's almost like Ticketmaster and, you know, the whole and Ticketmaster. Like Taylor thing. Swift thing. Taylor, they think they're the Taylor Swift of reseller yeah. podcasts. That's they're, what it is. They're making their tickets hard to get to. They're, they're, they're they, probably, they probably hired Ticketmaster to help with the tickets. Like that's what They released them on the Discord, you yeah. know, for all those folks. And all those tickets will be bought up. And then... People are going to turn around and start scalping those for now, ungodly like amounts the, of money. I'm going to do like most of the Taylor Swift fans, and I'm going to take the social media crying <laughs> about the fact that I didn't get a ticket. There's going to be multiple TikToks and does, Instagram posts. And I might does even this make count right here as this the first? Right. <laughs> this counts as the first one. I'm going to be in literally in tears because I want tickets to the Trash to Cash meetup in Vegas, and I, they're not available to me. And I want to go. Now, good? now, wait. Calm down. I. That's now, what now. happened. With, hey, they're Calm there. Down. Bridge over River Kwai. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I don't even. What is that? Go ahead. Jill will get that. Jill will get it. <laughs> yeah. So, so I feel like they're doing the Ticketmaster thing with the, yeah. with their with their uh, tickets. I mean, you have to either know somebody or be sitting there waiting online, waiting for them to I drop did. them. After they have all, all the, the Discord members buy them up. You have all of those extra fees, you know, that are on top. It's like, hey, the ticket's like 50 bucks, but at the end, for some reason, your bill's $120 with right. all the, you know, applicable taxes and fees. And um, so yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to book a flight, Jimmy. How do I know if I'm going to even have well, a I ticket? What am I gonna stand outside? We're gonna crash 
whatever they got yeah. going on, just like we did last time. We're just gonna we'll crash. be there. We'll be there. Like they'll be like, well, this is a private room only, and I'll be like, I don't care. I'm pulling <laughs> up. I'm pulling up you the uh, what do they call that? They put kids in the uh, the high chair right, right. next to Dave right. and and Carrie. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm so they're them. gonna have two two high chairs next to one, yours and Dave's. Yeah, right. Right next. <laughs> <laughs> you have one of them. Dave has one of them booster seats. He yeah, probably Dave, not a high chair. He's probably he's one of them booster, booster seats. seats that yeah, he's he's a booster <laughs> seat. yeah. So I'm crashing it for sure. Either way. Um, so yeah, I'll be there to, in Vegas, whether I'm welcome or not. <laughs> that's uh, April the 22nd is the actual event. I, I write April 22nd. I, I believe it's around there. I don't, I, I and have uh, they confirmed all that. Like, yeah, I believe so. I believe some of the, the tickets are, the tickets were released to the Discord already. Yeah, uh, I got word we on that the other day. Lined up if we can't get them too. Like we that's do. How deep this is rolling. We have. We're not going to drop. We're not going to drop a dime on them and give up the name. But we have a no. scalper lined up. If we Picking can't up. get tickets, score a couple extras. You know, from that's the how uh, time they think they are, we're going to have to buy our tickets. <laughs> To the Vegas meetup the, through a scalp on the black market. Like, and gonna, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna up the price on us too. Like we're not getting them at face value. We're gonna have to pay more for these tickets. It's what's going on over there at the track out there. Got two. <laughs> Got two. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> That's literally how it's going down. And then and then you'll think that uh then you think you're getting tickets there outside the place in vegas and turns out it's just one of those escort service oh, boy, flyers yeah. that uh that them been guys vegas, hand out <laughs> they they will uh if you're uh let's just say if you're a guy walking by yourself down the strip in vegas you're gonna get a bunch of business cards <laughs> <I'll bunch. laughs> that's, that's a good way to put that jimmy and i collect them i i take <laughs> them all so when i get to the <laughs> when i get to the deserted island i can hang them up next to my donna summer poster <laughs> from <laughs> yeah let's tell about that when you uh you were you were doing your live and you were um a listing records lp records right yes and i oh. was in and out of that in and out of that live um we were talking a little bit about if you were on a i think you said stranded on a desert when it's supposed to be deserted a desert island well I, I, you know a, a desert wouldn't desert, desert island, island? have a bunch of like sand on it. It's like really hot in the side. It is a, de well, it's only deserted. <laughs> Wouldn't it only be deserted if there were already people there to begin with? Oh, and then they all left. No, they deserted, deserted the island. On an island. I don't know. So this would be you like a deserted on, on a desert island with dessert. That's always how I knew to, to, um, how to spell like the difference between desert and dessert. I guess, I guess you could be right. Cause it would make, it wouldn't make sense because to say a desert desert or dessert has two S's in it oh, and everybody that. would always want more dessert. Yeah. There's more S's. So now, I told you I -E have a form of dyslexia. Yes. And so how your name SSSK promo <laughs> messes with me because Mm, so you and get, my see? name has my name has the main thing that bothers me and just the double name m's that, no double letters okay for the most part like if you ask me to spell um a stepping wolf like i assassin i will uh, so like can you spell you, mississippi jimmy i can't actually because okay. everybody has heard that because the little like rhyme little that you jingle. do but yeah so anyways <laughs> um Dessert is a word that I oh my gosh, multiple letters like that lined up. Just forget about yes. it. Yes. Well, if you start spelling it with three S's, I mean yeah. that's even more dessert. See, your name to me is SSKK promo. I don't because I want to add it. It's not the two the two S's make me want to make there be two K's also. It's weird. That's kooky. Well, maybe so I what should. What were we talking? Oh, so we were talking about if you were on a if you were deserted on a desert island. Yes. Well, I, on my I was listing albums and uh, on <clears throat> Ken versus Ten. Yeah. Thursdays at eleven a.m. Here we go. It's like <laughs> a shameless plug. And uh, I was doing uh, albums, and one of them was a Donna Summer poster or a Donna Summer album. Let's it was a two poster. album the set. The poster on his mind, folks. <laughs> and the and it, and it had a, a poster 
And I was kind of just relating the story that some, you know, albums have special pieces in them and that makes them more valuable. And so, so I just want to say, and, Dan, the answer man was listening. Yes. To the, I oh, think he said, wait, go ahead. No, no, no. I know what. The, okay. Wait, hold, hold on, Jimmy. Wait a minute. I Whoa. know what I was talking about. It was, <laughs> I re, now I remember when I was listing the albums that got around to one of the albums that I had was the police. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Yep. The police synchronicity, which I had said, if I was stranded on a deserted desert Island, <laughs> I would, that would probably be like that question of, you know, if you were stranded and you can only take five albums with you, or, you know, you can only have, what would they be? I think that would be one of the ones that was in my, in my collection yep. of ones that I would take. And then it came around to the Donna summer thing that had the poster of Donna summer. I said, Oh, well, maybe I'll take that. And I can hang up the Donner summer poster on like a palm tree or something, you know, yeah. since I was there on the Island by myself. And you said something and, about uh, all those lonely nights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, to which, uh, Dan, the Kristen, answer, man, Kristen. Dan, the answer man was listening to it. He said, he stopped and said, <laughs> what, what is he, what is he talking about with that poster? And when, he, when he told his wife about it, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she well, she was she was speculating. Let's just yeah. say Krista was speculating on what a lonely guy <laughs> on a deserted desert island would do while staring at a um yeah. Donna Why, Summer poster yeah, hang on a hanging on a palm life. tree. Now there would be more than one palm being used that evening. That's all that I will say. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's the oh. answer that. I'm and pretty sure that's what everybody thought when you told that. Welcome to the last story. episode of yeah, the, the reseller clickbait podcast. Do I have to click on that? It has explicit lyrics now or you explicit. We are, we are not going to have any. Literally, we are going to have no. We don't have commercials anyways. What are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's so <sighs> Dan. So I went to get, eat dinner with Dan. And he was like, where was Ken going with that? Like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I, I never know what the heck I'm talking about. Half the time. I mean, well, that's evident right here. I just ramble on about whatever, whatever comes up to my head. There was a record that you said you were going to play that made me say, well, I won't be on that island, but I don't remember what it was now. Oh, some of the others that would be on my, my top five would be, uh, it was probably Paul Simon's Graceland. No, I like Paul Simon. Um, uh, it might be, um, uh, Tom Petty's Southern Accents. Um, that one doesn't bother me so much. Probably, may, you know, some Beatles. Uh, as I thought about it later, uh, Sammy Hagar's Three Lock Box was a it. great. Well, and not the full album, but if I could only take one song, it yeah, would yeah. it would naturally be Mbop by Hanson. Right. Greatest song Don't ever hate written. Mbop. There was something else that you said. I can't remember. I'm going to go back and watch that you said. And when you said, I was like, well, I won't be on I said something like, I'm going to swim away from that island or something. Remember that? <laughs> like, I'll be swimming away while he's playing that record. It wasn't any of those. It was something that I really don't like. Dang it. I, I, I don't can't remember. think what it would be. But I remember saying that. And then I was naming but, off my records, and everybody was like, now I'm swimming off that. So yeah, I, well, I had said, yeah, the same thing about some of the ones that you, you know, we have, yeah. we have some of the same tastes. Uh, we probably like the same genre that eighties hair metal glam, uh, sort of thing, but maybe the bands that you would gravitate towards were a little bit different than the bands that well, I would some, gravitate towards. There was some hip hop in mind. Cause I grew, uh, I grew yeah. up on nineties hip hop too. So yeah. See, and I was, I was not <laughs> here in my neighborhood. We did not listen to a lot of nineties no hip hop. No, no. Yeah. That, no, I couldn't tell you one notorious big song i couldn't name one even if it came on the radio i might have heard it and i might even like the song but yeah. i would not be able to say that's that's biggie i got gotcha. i would not he has one album though his first album is great i mean that's that's the one anyways that's so, boring yeah hey jimmy <laughs> i gotta tell you you changed my life uh oh what i do now you did um am i gonna get a reward out of this 
No. Well, maybe I might send you something. <laughs> I, I, you never know what it is. Send me some, this, uh, some charms for my crocs. I'll say <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Then <laughs> yeah. for your summer crocs, for oh, Jimmy summer has crocs. Jimmy has summer crocs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and for Christmas, I'm sure you've been following along. Jimmy got a pair of Crocs and he yeah, has worn well, them every day without taking them off, but they're, they're, they're lined. Right. So yeah, he tells me the other day, he's got some summer got, like, Crocs now. Sherpa lining in there. Yes. For the winter. And, uh, so now he has summer Crocs. I I got... Are you going to, are you going to rock these socks with Crocs? Like you do the winter ones when you get to summer. So I don't know yet. So I got okay. some, the, the one, the summer clock, clock clocks, the summer crocs, which it almost doesn't make sense. My winter crocs are white and yeah. my summer crocs are black. Okay. Um, so, but. Well, they're black. Now you can wear them to weddings and funerals that's and true. everything. That's kind of like I mean, a, a dress you, issue. I, I'm definitely taking them to Vegas when we crash that. Trash <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I I'm didn't, I didn't clock. notice in your video i was watching your recent video i don't know if the camera ever gets down to your feet or not do you well, wear these my crocs to the way, but thanks okay <laughs> i don't see my feet either but thanks for reminding me do you wear these crocs to the to the estate know, sales the cro these crocs okay. are for at home uh, okay. home only when i'm at They're home indoor I'm use okay yes. so you or didn't wear them the out to dinner the other night for i gotta run to the car when you were at the swanky dinner the other night with uh uh with Dan the answer man and Krista, no. you weren't no, I was not wearing the crocs, although or, I thought about it, but it's too cold too. Like they're they don't keep you quite uh, warm enough. True. Even with the lining. Um, so uh, the summer crocs, yes, they don't have the lining, it's just the rubber sole. Yeah. And I think crocs should address this. Okay, so here, here we go. Crocs people. Got, she got me the exact same size Crocs. Okay. But the the sole on the ones that have just a rubber sole is much thicker. So the opening that your foot goes into okay. is shorter. And so my fat foot doesn't, <laughs> doesn't fit into the new Crocs because the opening isn't as big. So we're sending them back for a bigger size. So I'm going to be wearing some huge crocs that don't even fit my feet but because and so like they're the because exact they open size shoes though why but, am i picturing like fred flintstone trying on like <laughs> all right so big meaty I feet i normally wear an 11 and a half shoe okay we got the crocs 12 because i said i want them to be big i'm just gonna wear them around yeah. the house i want to slide them so the white ones i'm wearing right now are size 12 the okay. black ones that we got are size 12 now i'm going to get a size 13 Hmm. for the black ones to fit my fat foot oh, that's interesting so yeah i got so but i do i have summer crocs now they're black <laughs> they're, you know like for poolside and like when we go to vegas if i find time to go to a pool i'll wear them to the pool again while we're sitting at the dinner with trash yes. to cash my feet up on the table with the crocs on <laughs> Were your feet dangling off the high chair? I might even right get a there. silver marker and ask the guys to sign them. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. They should ask you to sign their Crocs. That's true, because I am a big deal. Yes. We were well, I'll have to talk to the Croc people, see if we can get a sponsorship for the show. They could be next week's sponsor. Oh, and I would, I would show my... Um, you know, we had prison Crocs as a. Did you sell all a, those already? I have no, I have no more prison Crocs. You sold them all. Good. I sold them all. It took you that yep. long to list those, and who knew you were sitting on a gold mine? And a couple of them were went international. That's, so I wanted. A I know. Pair. I wouldn't you say. I wouldn't say gold mine. I did not what say. What were you getting? Up, what were you getting each on those? Uh, it varied. Me asking. Uh, it varied from 25 to 35. That's really, how many pairs did you have? I had five pairs total. Oh, I thought you had way more than that. No, I did. I did. I bought like 36 pairs, but out of all the 36, there were only five that were actually, cause these were prison worn. They were, you know, well, they prisoners. They, yeah, they were, they yeah, were. They and shanks, so, so a lot of them had like shanks stuck in them and 
<laughs> the, some of them had maybe a little. Yeah, I got you. The little razor blade in the toe, you know. And other, a little and high other kick action. <laughs> yeah. No I, Crocs, Jimmy, with an R. Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So um, I didn't realize that. I thought they were new. Yeah, I get you. Got like a like a buyout of some new ones. I didn't realize they were used Crocs. Someone would you know fill a fill a a. a pillowcase with crocs you know and just beat a guy yeah. while he's sleeping <laughs> i'm not sure I mean, why not i'm not sure how effective that they would be wanted the guy to be fine they, they was just like a they would put the crocs in there they want him to be okay the next morning yeah. they just wanted to just, not really send a message like he was like still a, able to like get some a, books would do let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> put crocs some some rubber crocs in there we want we still want him to have a good night's sleep you know well we we want to show that you know you don't mess around with us and <laughs> that's a good one that's ridiculous I didn't, I didn't realize though that you only how, how much did you pay for them if you only got five good pairs uh i paid i paid 17 for the whole oh, lot man. of all of them you made your money back when you sold one pair oh yeah when i sold one pair so uh and it was on like a now you made sure that you got the sizes matched up right like you didn't put a I 10 did. with an 11 <laughs> like, no i did 100 <laughs> percent. all right i got and left uh, and right you didn't send two left yeah or anything nope. like Right. So far, I've got a couple good feedbacks. Uh, right, hell, good. I think the one pair that went international, I think they're still traveling to. Yeah. I'm not even sure <laughs> where they went. A little two left foot guy out there. <laughs> All I know is that they made it to Glen, Glendale, Illinois, or Glen. Glenville, Illinois. You know, the shipping, yeah. the international Man, shipping location. I love location. that they switched it to that. That's so cheap for me to ship there. Well, it's a little closer. for It used to, when you did global shipping, it used to be in Kentucky which was yep. really close, close for me in Ohio. Yeah. Uh, but you know, so now I'm still two, I'm two States over, but it's not, it didn't really mind crush me postage. Wise. Wherever, wherever it is in Illinois must be like the South part of Illinois. Cause it's super cheap for me to ship there. Like every time I sell something international now, I'm excited because the shipping is going to be super cheap. Yeah. 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 That's, so I, uh, it makes me more likely to take offers and stuff like that. Yes. Um, anyways, we, we, we're all over the place. I want to tell, I wanted to tell a story. Cause we were, like you said, oh. I went to dinner with Dan and Krista yes. um, and we got to talking. So I, I just recently, I'm trying not to tell this okay. story, make it too long. Hold on. Hold on, Jimmy. It's story time. I'm pretty sure I recorded that when I was at my <laughs> heaviest weight ever. <laughs> And that, that, I mean, I know my head is big, but I feel like I was quite a bit, I, you know, I've lost 20 pounds now on the, on the trash to cash diet. Thing. Um, so anyways, I want to now they're wait, now they're monopolizing diets too. Yeah. They have, a, yeah. what are they selling their own line of supplements and, and gym memberships? <laughs> yep. <sighs> they're yeah, actually, speaking, okay. The, 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 the fat on there right now is, uh, vegetables that are like kimchi. What's that called? when they i uh, kimchi the, i don't know yeah, i i never met her uh, is she yeah. another reseller huh <laughs> no, is she another reseller hey. kimchi kimchi is food man Let hey me while you're looking that up what i will say though i'm got you know as we're getting here uh that people are breaking all of their new year's resolution yeah, yeah. it's helping me with my thrifting because where where i go to my postal store uh, in this little plaza, in the same plaza is a Salvation Army, and so every day, pretty much, when I'm dropping off my mail, I stop at the at the thrift store. But I haven't done that maybe like a couple times this whole year because the Salvation Army is right next door to the Planet Fitness. All right, and <laughs> you get in January, and everybody's New Year's resolutions, and they're all hopped up and whoa, they're whoa, excited. Whoa, whoa. But there's there's not a what go ahead keep going. there's not there's no parking places they fill up the whole parking lot you know and then by the end of january the first of february uh there might be a spot or two but usually right, there's right. somebody waiting to pull in there you know by the time we get to march it'll be like oh i'll be able to park now you're uh -oh, just baby. not a buffet next door 
<laughs> yeah. Buff- hey, that would be a perfect, right? Next to the Planet Fitness, Buffet, Planet Fitness, thrifting. So, yeah, the, the parking is starting to open up a little bit at my thrift store gotcha. because people have decided that so you weren't going to being, working out is overrated. You were, you weren't going to the thrift because there was, there wasn't a good parking spot for you <laughs> or are you yeah. saying there were no parking spots. Um, they didn't, they didn't offer okay. ballet service. At I, I would say, are you, I uh, would say that there was parking spaces. If you want to be all the way out by like the Burger King, which is out way at the front. Where everybody's or snacking before the gym. Like right by the, there's a, there's like a smoke shop or whatever up there and the, where Wait, the pay less shoes. Pay like less? A, yeah, there used to be pay less shoes. I haven't seen a pay less shoes in like 10 years. You guys still have pay less? Well, no, they went out. They, the whole company closed like yeah. a few years ago. Oh, and of course, ago. you know, you know, when they closed Jimmy, they closed right after I went in one day and I found like this pair of shoes and they like, I like the style. I like the look. They oh, fit boy. me well. And so I bought it and I wore them out pretty quickly and I bought another pair and I bought another pair. And then, then the, the company closed down and you can't get them anymore. Man. They were like a champion or something like that. Payless to uh, me represents time. painful memories of I'm not gonna tell well, like I'm not gonna the, go to the first day of school. But in in yeah in junior high when you got school, kids and everybody else was wearing it, like pro wings is what they were pro wings. Pro wings okay yeah, look, look up pro wings I wonder if you can buy I'm gonna have to look those up on eBay. Um we used to go shopping for shoes at Payless uh-huh. Everybody else was going to get their Nikes at the time. Nikes were really popular, and I was going to pay less to get my Pro Wings that were a Nike knockoff. And yeah, mm-hmm. and so the kid that wore Pro Wings kind of got made fun got, of in school. Got beat but, up a lot. Yeah, I got beat up a lot. Yeah, so that's what pay less shoe source is to me. Jimmy had to play tether ball by himself. Well, now I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Thanks a lot for bringing up Payless, Ken. <laughs> you went from well, so you could you park out by the Payless. The <laughs> well, no, the Payless closed like a few years ago, and now there's like a, a cigar cigar smoke shop uh, that's in that building, and then the Burger King that's at the front of the parking lot, and then then there's the main plaza, and so. Yeah, I'm not thrifting. To go to the thrift. I think it's all in your head, though. I think you're just. <laughs> well, no, I, it's the the parking spaces are opening up now. So wait, yeah. you were going to tell a story though. What were you going to tell oh, a story yeah, about? I was gonna tell a story about my. So uh, while we were at dinner, we started talking. Um, uh, Krista, Krista asked me, "Hey, didn't you just have a sleep study for sleep apnea recently? Have you gotten your results?" Which this part of the story is boring, but it's been over twenty something days and i still haven't gotten the results yet so and i've called them a couple times and i paid you know i had to pay out of pocket for this test quite a bit of money okay so i still haven't gotten the results but it made me think of a story that so this is the that was the first time i've ever done a sleep study you know my okay blood results are a little crazy so they're like off okay so my doctor recommended anyways so rewind you snore you I snore sleep on my sleep? stomach and I don't snore. A okay. Lot. Now they okay. said I might help me sleep on my back more often if I had that. If I want, anyways. So we're gonna see. But okay. the funny story is, rewind back eleven years or so, maybe eight years. You want to do the rewind thing that we do? <laughs> All right. So eleven, eight, eleven years ago. I want I want to say I hurt my ankle or I think I pulled my hamstring or something like that. Okay. Um I know I've hurt those two things. I just don't know which one it was. And okay. so I ended up in an urgent care. <laughs> All right. And I'm in the urgent care and like the nurse, the first nurse that's checking me out, she's asking me my weight. That's always fun for me. Taking yes. my blood pressure. And she goes well, the reason you have sleep apnea is all the girth around your neck. <laughs> and I'm all, but, but I'm here for my ankle. <laughs> well, I hurt my ankle. <laughs> and she's like, out of nowhere, she says that to me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm here because I twisted my ankle, lady. 
And like, I've never been to this urgent care before. I'm only at the urgent care because it's like on the weekend and my doctor's office isn't open because I hurt myself, you know, doing something. And she tells me that she drops that one on me. And I come out, you can, Sonia remembers, I come out of the back of the, the, the office and I'm like, that, that nurse, <laughs> she said, and I told her, like, she told me the reason I have sleep apnea is all the girth around my neck. <laughs> What the heck? I've never done a sleep study. I've never been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Like, what are you talking about, lady? Yeah, that was mean, man. So that was a, yeah, I mean, it's funny. It, I mean, Sonia laughs every time I tell that story, and I'm like, thanks a lot. So, yeah, so if you ever go to the urgent care on 104th and buy the Taco Star, which we did get Taco Star after. Ooh, the Taco Star. That sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's really good, yeah. We had a Del Taco open up. We had a Del Taco open up right across the street from the smoke shop and the Burger King. <laughs> and it, it was it's pretty good. It's fast food Mexican. But, that, uh, that, they turned that pay less into a whole bunch of different restaurants. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was tested for sleep apnea. Turns out my trouble sleeping was guys kept sneaking in with pillowcases full of prison crocs <laughs> beating me about the head and brow and <laughs> beating you to a slight disturbance <laughs> yeah to, just do you mind i'm trying to sleep now now with all the plush on my bed they can't get to me oh man <sighs> that's a well that's hilarious that <laughs> Yeah. I can just see Jimmy sitting there on the on the paper in his gown with his ankle all swelled up. I was just like, but and, what see what well what you know why you can't sleep. I, my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know what to say. She said that was all what <laughs> so yeah, and I like can... I, I don't know where she got that from. Like literally we know like <laughs> urgent care is urgent care. It's not like your primary care, they don't have all my medical records this is my first time ever at this particular urgent care like what are you talking about <laughs> that <laughs> so anyways yeah that was that's so fat i get bullied all the time my whole life been bullied even by <laughs> nurses they're supposed to be nice and <laughs> that... <laughs> and now the trash that's... Catch, they won't let me go to their meetup just bullied everywhere yeah, I go. everywhere you go uh, you're even bullied on the, on the, like, not really bullied, but on the comments of the week, Jimmy, we'll do comment of the week. Yeah. Uh, well, you got some praise and you kind of got, you know, poked, poked out a little bit. Rebel Junk says, um, quote, make sure you source when you're sourcing Jimmy 2023. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I am not one that needs inspirational quotes. I'm actually anti-inspirational quotes and motivational okay. speaking like i just don't need it and i don't it's not something but if it's my calling i'm willing to do it i'm willing to be to, a motivational speaker like an encouragement you know drop social media posts where i'm trying to lift people's spirits oh, and stuff spirit. well oh see okay when you said that that remember i i started to bring this up that you changed my life oh yeah and Maybe and then you just calling. you just gloss right over that. Let's hear about how I changed your life. Hold on, do we need you to You know, do sometimes it's not really, but we can. <laughs> no, I don't it's, want to see uh, my fat head floating around again. It's uh, it was it's the simplest of things in it's life. Simple thing that yeah. sometimes. So did uh, you source you, when you were sourcing? Is that how I changed? When your I was sourcing, no, that wasn't it at oh, okay. all. <laughs> Actually, though, the, your your good comment was. Uh, from uh, uh, Danica Lady Luck Junk, uh, that about your prediction was crazy close for the Super Bowl on the last episode. We were, um, we were uh, who final would score. win and what the score would be. Yes, and Jimmy picked the winner, and he was he was like what thirty four thirty. I said thirty four thirty. Thirty four thirty that Mahomes would win it for them on a last minute drive. Yep, and. Uh, the score was uh, 35 38, was and, pretty close up there in the 30s. Off. And Chiefs Mahomes the second drive. drove them down with no time left on the clock and kicked the win. So, Jimmy is a Jimmy is a prognosticator. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, you guys want to learn how to bet on the NFL? Me message me on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, do you watch NASCAR, Jimmy? 
Not at all. Not at all. Well, no. I'll bet you on the uh, the Daytona 500. Yeah. I'm going to go with, uh, I think that, I think Ricky Stenhouse Ricky Jr. Bob oh. Ricky Bobby. Yes. No, another race. I'm going to go with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Is going to win the race. So I'm going to bet that they make a lot of left turns. Okay. So we'll see who's closest. <laughs> I uh, have never been in the, that's a whole nother story. I've never been into cars or racing. I've never had the need for speed. I drive like a grandpa. Like it's just <laughs> the total opposite of me. I have. Well, Crocs aren't the best life. driving shoes, Jimmy. Maybe you had to get something with a little harder <laughs> sole so you can feel how much pressure you're putting on the pedal there. No. Oh, wait, no, you changed my life. Jimmy. Oh yeah. what did I do? You, uh, it's, Are you okay. crying right now? I am. Uh, yes. I'm so <laughs> emotional. No, it's just, it was the simplest thing. The other day, you and I were just kind of chit-chatting about our sales and, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I was talking about having to list some things and that I, I need a new photo area. And because oh. I don't like how my lighting was and blah, blah, blah. And we were talking about that. And then you brought up like a little hint, tip, or suggestion yeah. for a setting on my phone. For the, and, for you know, Android the, the users, Samsung, right? Samsung Galaxy Note. Another one of our 20. sponsors, you want to give them a little. They were a former. Well, you know, I never heard anything from them. Uh, well, I actually, I did get that cease and desist. And it's like, these things are not really fireproof. Quit, <laughs> quit saying that they're, they're fireproof. Um, but it was, it was a setting, a, a filter when yep. you're taking the pictures. And it was like. You know, we're we're speaking to the Android crowd, which is really the only crowd yeah, yeah. that there should be. Hashtag yeah. Android. You know, you Hashtag iPhone Android. users can. This know. is this. You can you. Oh, Dan just left. I can, I'm gonna see you guys can stop listening now. And Dan's gone. Dan Dan the Answer Man. A, he he checks he, out this early in the show. Well, no, he just he loves Apple, and so he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's all right. You know, <laughs> we don't need Apple Apple fans listening to this show. Anyway, and of course, you know, I mentioned that, you know, when we're almost near the end. Right. So, you know, they've probably really enjoyed the Apple folks enjoyed the show up till now. And going forward, they're probably not good. But anyway, it was a filter. Yep. It was just it was a simple filter setting and to, to help brighten the backgrounds to maybe in, in a little bit lower light. And yep. it just like it changed my life. Good. For the, I, I'm a whole, for the worse. I'm uh, for the better. I'm a whole new. I'm a whole new person. I don't. I'm not dreading having to take photographs. I still need a new photo area because I need. I need a little bit bigger space for for yeah, some yeah. bigger items that I have. I see the but plush from your bed are starting to infiltrate your photo. Area. They are. The, no. Hey, so actually, I picked matter. these up. These are ones that I'm listing. I got these um at the honey hole. Oh. This okay. over the over the weekend. So that's some uh. There's some Pokemon stuff. There's some Dragon Ball Z. Bowser? Yeah, King Bowser nice. is there. And there's a Pikachu. And then there's a couple Dragon Ball Z uh, in there, which, oh, 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 hold on. Another comment. Resell to Rome, Nick. Yeah. And in, in the comments this week, when I said that, I remind I remember to see that. Uh, he said he was like Jimmy. Uh, he looks back on so much valuable stuff that he sold at yard sales before he became a reseller. Yep. That he loved Dragon Ball Z when he was a kid. Um, he had about fifteen T-shirts that would be vintage by now, and uh, and they sold them or donated them. And and it's like I think pretty much every reseller would love to have their childhood back. Okay, right. wait. There's two sides of this a lot argument. Younger than us, apparently. Obviously, he's a lot younger than us. Well, yeah, yeah. If it's Dragon Ball Z. I remember I used to be able to come home and still catch episodes of Howdy Doody after school when I got home. That's how long. That's awful. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they were reruns, of course. But yeah, sure you're right. <laughs> hey, kids, what time is Buffalo Bob? Man, I actually I did Buffalo. really good on a Dragon Ball Z T-shirt once, by the way. Found it and a couple dollar. Dragon Ball Z plush back then. But I think, okay, so twofold, I think it's um, all of us resellers would love to have all the stuff, all the toys and the music and the clothing that we had when we were kids 
uh, because those groups or people now are the ones that are buying their nostalgia. So it kind of goes both ways. If we, if we would love to have had that stuff, but it's also great when we find it because yeah. all of those people like us that now have more, you know, they're at that point in life where they have maybe a little extra money. They want to relive their yeah, childhood I or can, they want to show their kids. They want their kids to relive their childhood. And mine's, and like, so a we're up, that. mine's like a double up disappointment. Okay. While I would love to have the stuff from when I was a kid. Yes. I would also love to have the stuff from when my kids were little. This, that's the stuff because yes, the stuff from when I was a kid, I don't even know if it made from when I moved, when my parents moved from California to Arizona, I don't even know if that stuff made them. I haven't seen the stuff from when I was a kid from since yeah. I was 15, like 13, 15. I haven't seen that. But my kids stuff, that Pokemon like, and yeah. all this stuff that's worth a lot of money right now, the Nintendo game or game cubes and DSs and they all had that stuff. Yes. And I sold all that stuff at yard sales. For next to nothing. For next to nothing. And it's all stuff that's really good right now, too. So, like, that when I said what I said, that's what I'm talking about. Like, me and my wife sold all of our kids' stuff. I mean, we have a couple tubs that I was smart enough to say, hey, this is before I was a reseller. I was like, hey, keep a couple tubs of toys of some of their better toys for them. They can decide what to do with them when they're older. Yeah. But most of their video games, like, all their video games have been sold off before I was a reseller. Like, I didn't know. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. It sucks. How, how many of those though have you rebought and resold at lots? Yeah, it would be cool to have their their toys that they had, but now you know what those are, and you're yeah. buying them and selling them, and not not so allowing best, your children to relive their um their childhood because you have to resell it, Jimmy. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of DS old. games, Pokemon DS games, like Pokemon White version, uh -huh. Pokemon Black version. Have you heard of these? I have the, so my kids played those and I've since found those and resold them. A lot of those Pokemon DS games are worth a bunch of money now. Yeah. And those, my kids had all of them when they were little, they had the game boy advances and stuff like that. Yeah. So, well, I just kind of proved with that one, uh, private pick, all the stuff that I grew up with those original, like electronic games that, that I had got from my buddy those things are just they just flew all wow, you know sure. most of them didn't didn't last a week up there you know there's a there's a big uh because i'm a little bit little bit older than you um just a little bit jimmy a little not, bit. not a whole lot but um i don't even know if i know how old you are oh, we don't need to go into it then sure <laughs> i recently turned 51 but more recently, I turned 54. Okay. So, <laughs> so there we go. Everybody's like looking. Everybody's looking now. They're like, oh, come on. Ken. No way. There's no way. Clubs. They're all thinking there's no way that, that I'm older than Jimmy. That's what I was just going to say. To, <laughs> Nobody to begin with. That. And um, <laughs> so, but we thank everybody for commenting. Thanks to that to Nick for chiming in. Yeah. And uh, Corey over at Graham's, Graham's and Pops Vintage. Uh, related a story about how he was grumpy with eBay because he uh, he fell down on the way out to his <laughs> eBay shed. So blame yeah. eBay, and he blamed eBay and and they reselling in eBay. general, and uh, <laughs> and and how I feel his pain that we don't bounce back, we don't bounce back up as quickly as we used to. So check out Although the last I video. I read I the comments. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> Another, another fat joke, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what else you got, Jimmy, besides, you know, just, you know the night away knowing trash to cash is still someone from that podcast is still listening right now. I want to see no if they're, they that. listen this long and they don't ever comment. Leave a comment, guys. Let us know what's going on. They've with the meet up in Vegas. They've checked out. They checked. Yeah, you know, know Kevin said yeah, 10 episodes. We're lucky they listen 10 minutes, you know. I yeah. think they they pop in, they say, Hey, great show, guys. It'd be well, should I mean, be like, hey, great opening. Hopefully they see the thumbnail I'm gonna go make. <laughs> 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 oh, 
they'll, they'll listen. They'll listen <laughs> after that. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> and I will throw out, um, if you are listening to the show, I know a lot of people comment and stuff that they, they listen while they're, while they're listing or while they're packing up their shipping for the day. Today is Monday, February the 20th. It is president's day. So if you've been packing this whole time or for your shipping, don't forget not to go to the post office tomorrow or today, later today, because they are closed. Do you have big President's Day plans, Jimmy? Do you have does family come over and have big like big event or anything? Take the dogs for a walk. Um, list. Take some pictures. Play some video games. Me and my youngest son have been playing some video games. A little bonding yeah. moment for us. So I'll be doing that. The old, uh, the old video games from his childhood, or yeah, the ones stuff? that I sold. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon yeah. <laughs> Black version right now. Actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a good day. I, I, I had done all my errands and stuff today. Not having to go to the post office, I won't. Uh, I'll be able to stay home all day, and I plan on. That's what I plan on doing. Getting some extra stuff listed. So that always gets in the, in the middle of my day is. You know, I usually get up if I don't get the shipping ready the night before I get up in the morning and I get my shipping ready and then I get some pictures and some comps and then I always have to leave and go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the sleep and study's working. It's about his day. So I'm going to come, gonna come over there and <laughs> come over and beat you with a pillowcase. <laughs> rocks. All right. I'm just Thanks joking. for joining us on the reseller clickbait podcast.